Alright, I am here to show you a couple tips about properly washing your paintbrushes as well as washing your paint uh, palette out because acrylic paint is a lot different than watercolor paint and one of its properties is that it's water miscible so you can mix it up with water and dilute it if you need to but after it's dried it's practically waterproof and it's really important that we wash the paint out while it's fresh before it becomes permanent. So what I've got right here on the screen is the bottom of my sink that I wanted to illustrate a very important uh, lesson. When you are washing your palette out or maybe a paintbrush out in the sink, if you're using acrylics, please be responsible for keeping the classroom clean and rinse the sink out. If you leave paint in the bottom of the sink because maybe you were washing your palette out or your brush out, uh, if you don't splash that and wash that away, it's going to dry permanently on the walls and floor of our sink and it's probably going to clog up our drain capture as well. So when you are cleaning up your materials, just follow through, don't be lazy. Be mindful of our classroom space and help us all out by just splashing some water around. You can use a paper towel if you're too disgusted by the sink to touch the metal, but no harm in just wiping that away and assisting the process of getting all of the paint out of the screen mesh and off the metal. Alright, so now my sink is mostly taken care of. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about paint brushes. So we've got the anatomy of a paint brush that this part down here is the handle. Sometimes it is in wood, sometimes it's acrylic. Usually on the handle you can find a number indicating the size, the measurement of the paint brush and Usually you can also find the brand. This one is mostly rubbed away, but it's a uh, Royal Lagnical paintbrush. So there's the handle, and then there is this metal part is called the ferrule, where it attaches to the handle. There are these little clip marks that these are the crimp marks. So the ferrule is crimped squished onto the handle. If you have a paintbrush with a wooden handle, usually the um, biggest problem that you can run into is if you leave your brush soaking in water for very long, the wood will expand with the water and contract and it expand and contract and that can result in the crimp and the ferrule not fitting properly anymore and you can uh, end up having your whole top of your paintbrush come off. You can also run into that problem when the glue inside of the ferrule and the crimp, uh, if it's soaking in water for a long time, it will uh, loosen the glue and the glue will let go and then you run into this problem. So if your paintbrush falls apart, just send it to the paintbrush graveyard at the teacher's desk and we'll try to repair it rather than throw it away. So back to our paintbrush anatomy, we've got the handle, crimp, ferrule, then we've got this part up here with the bristles. Sometimes these are synthetic, sometimes they're natural hair, and we have different parts to the bristles. There are the tip of the bristles, that's the very end, and sometimes these are called the toe, because if you think about your bristles as a foot, this is the heel then there's the toe as the point. And sometimes we refer to it as the heel of the paintbrush because if you bend the paintbrush like this, it kind of looks like a little foot. And the heel is where it meets the ferrule and the tip of the bristles are out here. So when you're taking care of your paintbrush and you're using acrylic paint, you got to wash it out right. Otherwise that acrylic paint dries really hard and it ruins your paintbrush. We don't want to buy more brushes, we want to take care of the ones we have. 
So at the middle school level, I might wash paintbrushes out for the middle schoolers because they're just not mature enough to take care of their own materials. Uh, but at high school, I'm trusting you. It's your responsibility to take care of your brush every day, and we are entrusting you to wash your paintbrush out. So don't ruin a paintbrush like this one or this one by leaving acrylic paint in it and letting it dry. These are kind of some extreme examples. More often, people wash it out kind of lazily and they think it's clean, but it's not. And inside of the bristles, you'll discover some paint that makes it crispy and it just escaped your notice, but there was still paint in there. And most often, the paint builds up at the heel of the brush where the ferrule begins and you want to take good care of that. So if I have some paint in my brush and it's time to go wash it out, here are some tips for washing out your paintbrush. First off, run the bristles under the water as long as you can. Take your fingers and kind of swipe the bristles back and forth to get rid of the worst of the paint. Then you're going to want to kind of peel the bristles back and forth. Inside of the bristles is called the well. It's kind of a little open space that's supposed to soak up paint so that when you're painting, your paint goes a little further, your brush holds more paint. But the paint can hide in there when you're trying to clean it. And if you don't take good care of it, the paint is in that spot. Next, I find it useful to get some soap in my palm and swirl my paintbrush around. If there was any remaining paint in the brush at this point, that soap's probably going to change colors and I'm just swirling the bristles around to work the paint into it. Rinse these out and last but not least, if I can still see any paint through here, usually I will take my thumbnail and kind of scrape it real gentle but along the ferrule part where the paint can get into the brush and sort of scrape your fingernail along the bristles and into the bristles and that will usually release any paint. In fact, I just released some old dried green paint from somebody long ago because I gave it that little extra attention. So rinse the brush until the water runs clear. If you pinch, pinch, pinch the bristles and you see dirty colored water squeeze out of the bristles, you know your paintbrush isn't clean yet and you need to go back for a little more. So keep rinsing the brush and pinch the brush until the water runs clear and give your brush a quick inspection. Do you see any more paint in it? If you don't see much paint and you've gotten all the fresh paint out that you can, your brush is ready to go. But don't abuse your paintbrush when you're cleaning it. Just work the bristles gently so that you can clean it out without deforming the brush and splaying the bristles everywhere. So thank you. I hope you will take this advice and properly take care of your paintbrush every single day. This is our primary tool for creating paintings and it's really critical that we treat it with care and respect to make it last. Thank you.